Well, and I, I would, I think, disagree. I know that I, I have said before that I wanted separate trials. Um, and I know that Mr. Clark hasn't always been on that same page as far as wanting separate, and, and he understands that there needs to be a FREDA hearing if he's to make any arguments on his own over here, and there's not been that. Um, but, you know, I, I do think that it's, it's appropriate for, I mean, I don't think it is appropriate for Joinder, and the reason is partially because of the nature of the second offense, which is the violation of the EPO. Um, the EPO was issued, um, he was, uh, you know, I think that their case will be that he was served in jail with the EPO. Um, the fact that the EPO was issued at all seems to lend credibility to the first case, which is the assault case. So he's charged with domestic assault based on the facts of the domestic assault um, allegation. Uh, Miss uh, Patrick went and, and got an EPO. It was signed by a commissioner. Um, it was served allegedly on Mr. Clack while he was in custody. Um, and that, I think, is suggested to the jury that somebody, um, somebody, either a judge or somebody, has, has looked at that case and has decided that those facts are true or else that EPO never would have been issued. So I think that, that that's problematic um, for a joinder to be. Right. Hold, hold that down, I want to get the 